Hi, I'm Anna Aldman of Anna's Awesome Applique Designs. And this video is going to cover the overview of the October, November, and December block of the months that are part of the My Garden Journal. So I wanted to share with you a little bit more detail about each one of them. As usual, they all are individually packaged and each of them have their own thumb drive with a little charm. The charm actually has a picture on it that relates to the design itself. So I really put a lot of thought in putting everything on this thumb drive so you can easily find it. I'm going to go in more detail on each of the designs here in a minute. The design I want to cover is the October pumpkin stack. As you can see, it's got these lovely three different pumpkins that I use different fabrics for each section. I actually did use a variegated thread for the trapunta stitches so there is a contrast uh, against the trapunta stitches and the applique fabric. There is these three little flowers that each have five petals. I've digitized it so that you can do each one of them with a different color fabric just to bring more depth and dimension or if you don't feel like going through that um, that level of detail you can put a, one piece of fabric on top and then just trim them all at one time. I also have this lovely back black crow that I've used a midnight black fabric and then I used a dark navy blue thread for the trapunto stitches. All these elements are part of the design for the wall hanging but also we've taken elements from here and created bonus blocks. I'm going to show you those here in a second. But I wanted to also talk about that this big green piece here is across the full length of the design and part of the multiple hooping is you'll do part of it in hoop one and then you'll finish it up in hoop two. With regards to the pattern cover, you can see the full design on the front cover. On the back cover, it'll have information about how many hoopings. It also has information about the bonus blocks. The bonus blocks are elements of the big design and you can use them in any way that you want. So here's the black crow and the little butterfly. And they're applique. So there's no quilting on there. There's, there is trapunto stitches, but no additional quilting on them. Here is a pumpkin with the leaf and a flower. Again, that's all applique. And the very last one is the pumpkin that's quilted. And what I actually did with this quilted pumpkin is create a little table runner. I'm going to show that to you here in a second. I went ahead and created three of the pumpkins, as you can see here. I put the two at the ends facing out and I put the middle one in the front orientation and then I just joined them all together with joining strips. I used filler blocks from Quilted Blocks 1 design to add additional length to these. So this is all part of the pumpkin stack. The next design that I want to talk about is the November block of the month. There's a lot of things going on here which is really really fun. Darcy, who is the um, designer of this, actually added a tree trunk here and there are several different pieces of fabric and the trapunto stitches follow the lines of a tree trunk. So it was a lot of fun to do that particular tree trunk. Then you also have the nut hatch. And the funny story behind the nut hatch is my husband, when I had this on the design wall, he kept looking at looking at it. He says, why is that bird upside down? And I called up Darcy and I asked her, you know, my husband's thinking this bird is upside down. Well, it turns out nut hatches typically perch on the tree upside down. So this is the proper orientation for that. Of course, we had to add a little butterfly because uh, that's just part of the things that we like to add to these designs. But the other thing that's really neat is you'll see all these four different leaves. Each leaf has several different colors to them. And you can make that as rich and as detailed as you want. Or you can just put one piece of fabric on one side and one piece of fabric on the other. Just going through the different tack down stitches and securing it and trimming it. Or just do one big piece of fabric. But you have all those options with all of these different leaves. So I had a lot of fun doing this one. It takes a little time doing it because there's a lot of color changes. But it's a beautiful end result. What I wanted to share on here again is that you have the full design on the pattern cover and then you have the multiple hooping information on the bottom chart and you can see what the three different bonus blocks are. For November, what we did 
is we took that little butterfly and made him a little bit bigger and made him be fully applique. So you can put it on anything that you want. There's no uh, set place of what tie you want to use that. We also did a nice little series of uh, uh, leaves, fall leaves, and then with the acorns, which is a nice uh, fall type motif. And last but not least, we did a quilted leaf. And the idea behind this is you can actually create many of the blocks with different color leaves and put them together and create a tote bag or a runner just like we've talked about before or whatever. But these are the three different bonus blocks that come with November. And that is... Now I want to talk about the December block. The beautiful thing about the December block is this beautiful bird, which is the partridge and the pear tree. When Darcy and I were talking about the design for December, she definitely wanted to do something that's a little bit more non-traditional, um, but still keep the December theme. So we have the partridge, um, and then we have lots of good detail in this bird. It's also going to be a bonus block. But the beautiful thing about this bird is if you have bird watchers, they're going to love the detail in here. We've got the three pears, and then we've got the pear flowers. Again, the little blooms here have uh, five different petals, and I like to have different fabrics for each one to have that depth and dimension. And we've got this cute little butterfly just hanging in there. On the pattern cover, again, we've got the full picture here. We've got information about the multiple hoopings and what you're getting bonus block-wise, and we have pictures of the bonus blocks. In the case of December, as I mentioned, we've got that quail that is a beautiful applique and you can put it on anything. It's a little bit reduced from the wall hanging, but it's a beautiful detail in there. We have the pear tree branch that we have the different pear trees on there, or the pears on there. And then we have a quilt block of the different pear blossoms. In this case, what I did is I made them look completely different and put pastel colors to them. And let me show you how I turned that into a beautiful little tote bag. So again, here is a tote bag that I did and I just did the blocks for the different flowers and I did the same coloration. I just rotate the block wherever I had it. I did, this is a mirror image of the block with the, the pears on there. And if I turn it over, you'll see Here's another version of that and some more blossoms over here. I'm going to show you later in a different video how to do this tote bag, but you can see how quick and easy it is to just stitch out those blocks and make a tote bag and have the corresponding filler block from Quilted Blocks 2 in this case to uh, finish up your tote bag if you don't want to do another applique block. 